A pleasant good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Wetlands and Wildlife Care Center. This is where really the epicenter was, where a lot of the uh, wildlife came to be first kind of like triaged, if you will, and then shipped off to more prominent and more helpful uh, abodes, you know. But this is what's happened. This is the result of the oil spill and the people coming together our community of Huntington Beach, we call it 1HB, and we are so thankful for the people, the, the Bolsa Chica Conservancy and the President and CEO, Patrick Brennan. And Mr. Brennan, just step right over, right over here. You have a very special couple of checks to present today. I do indeed, and it's uh, really an honor to be able to uh, bring good news and, and share uh, the, the generosity of our community who really when this oil spill happened, um, it was overwhelming the response, and we all saw that. And at the Bolsa Chica, where we were spared the intrusion of oil, uh, we realized that we did have a role to play, and that role was to try and help these organizations who were directly impacted. Uh, and the way we could do that was by soliciting donations and, of supplies and monetary donations. And I'm happy to say that people really stepped up and were very generous, and today I have the special privilege and pleasure to present a couple of checks. Well, why don't we do that? Um, I'll give you that microphone, and okay. then I'll help you with those checks. Okay. Why don't you introduce uh, all of our friends and community members that really came and to help that support? Absolutely. Well, I'll start with uh, John Via here. John is the executive director for the Huntington Beach Wetlands Conservancy, our neighbor to the south. That's right. Uh, the other wetlands, or am I the other wetlands? In this case, you're the other way. Okay, I'm the other wetlands today. Uh, next to him is Eric Paquette. He is our operations manager at the Bolsa Chica Conservancy. And we have Debbie McGuire, who is the executive director for the Wetlands and Wildlife Care Center. And we have Debbie Waynes, who is the operations manager here. And then we have Dr. Wood, who gets the special treat of uh, dealing with the oil wildlife and bird life and get, bringing them back to health. So thank you for being here, Dr. Wood. And we have Greg with us also from the Wetlands and Wildlife Care Center. And Greg, you've been involved in bird rescue activities for a long, long time, as I understand it. So it's great to have you here. And then last but not least, we have Kelly Miller from Visit HB. And uh, I wanted Kelly to be here today because Kelly really was helpful in getting the word out about what was needed and spreading that to uh, the larger community. And uh, Kelly's organization has a, a huge reach and a great social media footprint. And so we really leveraged that and it allowed us to generate the kind of donations that we're able to turn over today. So really excited to start with uh, John. It's my pleasure to present to you. Oh, we give a pre present to you this check for five thousand dollars to help you in your efforts to respond to the oil spill. You're welcome, John. Would you like to say a few words? You know, this was really great because it, it did show the community come together. Not just the community and the donations, but in our organizations. Uh, we all work for the same cause, and that's to help out the wildlife, whether it's in the habitats that you and I um, both manage, or in the case of the care center, the animals they take care of. So it's really good for all of us to come together. And we're lucky here today because we also have a special member of council, Mayor Carr is with us today, and in our case, she did a really great job of helping us out in the wetlands, and uh, I mentioned that at a council mem uh, meeting last night, so I would definitely want to do a shout out for her as well, but thank you very much. We really and John, yeah, I want to um, follow up what you said. First of all, thank you, Mayor Carr, for being our camera person today, but uh, thank you for also being at the helm during a really difficult year and the oil spill certainly put a another exclamation point on 2021 and I think we'll all be glad to see 2021 in the rearview mirror right. but um, uh, the, I want to also acknowledge the city and all the department heads our fire department was incredible the way they responded uh, they jumped before anybody else said jump um, and they were really Johnny on the spot. They did a great job. And really all over the city with Brevin Mettler at the Emergency Operations Center, uh, the outreach to other cities and to, to the county and the state, uh, really the city stepped up and did a great job. So we're happy to have uh, Mayor Carr here with us today. So Debbie, come on over. Debbie and Debbie, come on over. I have a check for you here that here I'd like to present in the amount of $10,000. So, Hopefully that will, uh, will help you in sustaining your operations. We know that the oil spill 
a response effort that you had to put forth wasn't just about treating oiled birds. It was about responding to all of the calls and, and the press and the media converging on you and all of that. So uh, we know it was a, you know, a difficult period. Hopefully this will help. It will help. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so much. This, there was a lot of indirect victims, as you've heard, with uh, birds that had to be held back. We had over 200 birds that we couldn't release because of the oil spill. We also ha get our salt water from AES, and luckily the fire department um, was able to let them know to turn off this pump so we didn't have oiled birds on our property. So that was good. Thank you, fire department. <laughs> so this is going to go a long way. We have uh, so much need, and we cannot tell you how appreciative we are to the community, to you, to Mayor Carr, to the entire um, city of Huntington Beach, and everyone. Thank you so much. Well, you're welcome, and as I said, it's, it's really a privilege for me to be the person to present this because this isn't from the Conservancy. This is from people who responded to our appeal. It was people who gave $5 and people that gave $10 and people that gave 500 and 1,000, whatever they could afford to give. But what it really showed and what today is really intended to show is that our community comes together in time of need. And it's... John and I have talked a lot about, you know, having our two wetlands organizations work closer together, and this is a, a good sign that that's happening. So, uh, an honor to be here today. Congratulations on everything you're doing. The best of luck to you. Hopefully, this all helps, and uh, it's really just a pleasure to uh, to be part of this. Thank you so much. Wow, it is truly, ladies and gentlemen, a good news Thursday, and it is all about one HB. A pleasant good afternoon. Be well.